Hey everybody, Cold Steel Bill here, coming to you from out at the farm. How y'all doing today? Uh, doing a quick little video today on a revolver that um, <clears throat> just recently a viewer made a comment on. And um, so, y'all hang on. Let's check that out. Alright, so what do we got here? This is the Charter Arms Bulldog. I think, um, uh, what's his name? 45 guy, something 45. Uh, did a review on one chambered in 44. Uh, 44 special or 44 anyway. And he seemed to think that it was quite unique and quite rare. Now, the one I have right here, again, you look at it, and a lot of people ask me, what's the, what's the model of this? Well, it's the Charter Arms Bulldog, and it's chambered, as you can see, in 45 Colt. Now, I do have it loaded. Got some semi-jacketed wad cutters in there. And uh, I've been out there shooting some steel, you know, earlier. And uh, one of the viewers made a comment the other uh, the day to me and said on the video that I'd done previously on this, and says, it's been a few years, how's it going? And I thought, well, you know what, let me just, let me just do a quick little video on this guy right here. Again, 45 Colt. Short Arms Bulldog. Five shot. Okay. Plunger, ejector, hidden shrouded plunger, raised blade, front side with pink fingernail polish on it where I can see it. It has a grooved rear sight. And of course, you can see I have a couple of dabs of yellow on the back there for my poor old eyes. It has a rubberized grip. I don't know if you could call that a hoe grip or not, but probably. It's, it's like one. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, it says uh, Bulldog on it, I think, or Charter Arms. But either way, it's a very comfortable grip. And to be honest with you, with having the two, it's probably a two and an eighth inch barrel, it's not as difficult as you would think it is. But it does have some snap. So I'm going to shoot a little bit and uh, invite you along with me. It's getting dark enough in the afternoon now to where it might be able to get us a little bit of um, a little bit of fire between the uh, cylinder gap and the barrel. So we'll see how that works out for us. Cold Steel Bill here, coming to you from out at the farm, and we're gonna shoot this 45. Them cows over there, and the mules, and the moving, and uh, I'll be back. Are you shooting me? First shot I hit it, now that I've moved the camera out of the way, I can't hit it. That's the last shot. Yeah, it was.
All right, this go round, I got it loaded up with some federal 225 grain semi jacketed flat points. Typically shoot these in my lever action, but the bulldog can handle it. Right on it. First shot. This is the last shot. First shot. So I naturally pull to the left. Not bad. Not bad for my tired old eyes. Not bad. <clears throat> the Charter Arms Bulldog. Do I like it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm about 60 feet from the targets over there, so I wasn't actually expecting to hit any of the steel over there much from this distance, but uh, I just wanted to get some cool shots with the camera shooting it. Kind of late in the evening, so maybe we got a little flash off of it. Alrighty, again, Charter Arms Bulldog chambered in 45 Colt. This one is... uh. Scratch nickel, stainless steel, whatever you want to call it. Um, you ever notice how the 45 cold is such a, it's a nasty round. It's a nasty round. It's almost as nasty as a 22. But oh well. <clears throat> oh well. Charter Arms Bulldog, chamber to 45 cold. Not something you see every day. See them all the time in a 38, maybe a 357, I'm not real sure. Definitely 38s and maybe smaller calibers, I'm not sure about that either. Uh, the only one I've seen outside of a 38 other than this one is the one that uh, Hickok 45 had showcasing, I think it was a uh, 40, 44 special or a 40 special. But um, there we go. Gold Steel Bill here coming to you from out the farm. Love you, mean it. Au revoir, mi amigos. Adios. Bye.